Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo and this tutorial we will learn how to do API calls in YPath Studio Web. So first, to access to Studio Web, make sure you log in into your YPath Automation Cloud and then click here on Studio to access to Studio Web. And now let's create a new project. So here on project name, let's define, for example, API calls and let's create. So on this tutorial, we will use the Chuck Norris Jokes API. So I'll leave on the description of this video, the URL to this page where we can see the documentation about the API. So uh, we'll use this endpoint that retrieves a random joke so here we can see example response so we can see the response it's on json format and here so we have the value where we can get the random joke so first here on studio web let's use a sequence and so uh, let's here rename this sequence to get random joke for example and so first we need to do a HTTP request to do API calls. So uh, let's click here to add a new activity. And now let's search for HTTP request. And here we can see two activities, Web API HTTP request and orchestrator HTTP request. So the one that we want to use, it's the first one. The second one, it's to work with orchestrator API. So let's select this one. And so first we need to indicate the request method. So it's a get one for this endpoint as it says here. So we want to get something from this uh, endpoint. So in this case, the random joke. Then we need to indicate the request URL. The endpoint displayed here. So let's start this endpoint in a variable. So here on data manager, Let's create a new variable and here let's define the variable name to random joke endpoint. And here so type text. And now here let's define the default value. So uh, let's copy here the endpoint that we have and paste it here on default value. So now that the variable is created, let's call it here on this property. So let's click here on use variable and let's select our variable that we have to do. So now we don't need to provide parameters, also headers, body or authentication. So is needed authentication. So here now let's click on show advanced options. And here we have some options that we can uh, so change. So here, the continue on error, SSL certificate verification. Here, except format, we already know that will be in JSON format. So uh, we can see here that will be created four uh, variables, one with a result and not with the status code, response headers and response attachment. So uh, let's use here now a log message after the HTTP request. So let's add a new activity. Let's search for log message. And now here in the message, let's use the variable that will have the result from the HTTP request, the API call. So here let's select response content. And now let's run our automation by clicking here on run. So as we can see, we got here a random joke on the logs. So uh, let's learn now how we can parse the JSON to get only the random joke. So here we can see the JSON response format. So we know that we want to get uh, the value related to the key value. So we need to indicate key value to get then the value of this key, in this case, the random joke. 
So first, to do it, we need to serialize the JSON. So let's add here a new activity. So first, after run automation, we need to click here on switch to edit mode to then be able to edit the automation. And now let's search here for JSON. And so let's use here the deserialize JSON. So uh, let's try this activity after the HTTP request. And so let's provide the JSON string. So it's container on the variable that contains the response content. And now we can see here on show advanced options that we'll have a new variable that will represent the JSON object. So then with the JSON object, we can parse the JSON to get only the random joke from the response. So now here on Studio Web, on our log message, let's here open expression editor. And now here, let's click on variables. And here we can see our JSON object. So let's select it. And now that we are taking our JS object that contains so uh, the JS response from the API call, we need to indicate the key related to the value that we want to see. In our case, uh, the random joke. So we need to indicate the key value. So here, after uh, calling our variable, let's open parentheses, open double quotes and now here indicate the key value. So let's save what we did here. And now uh, let's run again our automation. And as we can see here in the logs, we got only the random joke now by doing here so the JSON parsing. First, we converted our JSON string to a JSON object. And so then we just indicated the key relate to the value that we want to get, so the random joke. And so here on the logs, we got only the random joke. So if you liked this video, please give a thumbs up and also consider to subscribe to the channel and enable the notification bell so you'll get notified for each tutorial that I launch on the channel.